It's good? Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. You tested it? Yep. How's the uh, detergent coming out? Good? Anthony Mulet goes to work well, knowing he will face some sticky situations. This is a passion for me. So you're on a mission? We're on a mission to clean up the country, one piece of gum at a time. He is a seriously professional gum remover. Little boys dream of being astronauts or policemen or firemen. Did you dream of this? Actually, no. <laughs> I, I absolutely did not dream of uh, gum, but uh, somehow I stepped in it, so. <laughs> no chance of running out of work. Americans chew their way through $3 billion worth of gum every year. And when they're done, people just spit it out wherever and whenever it loses its flavor. I've seen gum stuck on walls. It's on the floor of the bar or under the stool, mostly on city sidewalks. All those little black spots that you see on the floor. You are going to make me very aware of this. <laughs> I am now going to be obsessed <laughs> to seeing gum everywhere. Yes. And when you see it, who are you gonna call? Gum busters, of course. Mule is the CEO. This is the brand new battery operated gum removal machine. It's the world's first. I want one of these for Christmas. <laughs> he showed us what gum busting is all about. The special magic produced with a high powered combination of steam, detergent, and a wicked brass brush. That gum is busted. That's great. <laughs> Gone. Where, where does it go? Actually, it vaporized. Hewley says he can vaporize up to 1,200 pieces of gum an hour. This is sort of like trying to empty the Atlantic with a teaspoon, you know. I, I, <laughs> I agree. You don't get demoralized. I don't. I love it. And remarkably, he says he also loves gum. I'm actually chewing gum now. So. I know. <laughs> what are you going to do with it when you're done? <laughs> Dispose of it responsibly. In other words, wrap it up. Save the wrapper, put it in your pocket, in your pocketbook, and save it till you're done. You have a lot of faith in people. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of pride in satisfying work he clearly enjoys. Do you consider this an odd job? It is. It's quite unique. It's odd uh, and a dirty job. So, yes. But somebody has to do it. That's right. <laughs> Let it be us. Chew on that for a while. <laughs>